Federal officials speaking today, this afternoon to be exact, in East Baltimore, another place that could use investment, some crime-fighting investment, speaking alongside state and city leaders, they announced plans to curb violence with federal law as part of a new crime-fighting strategy. What irks me about this, and we're going to talk about this, uh, uh, Mayor, Mayor Scott was there, and uh, and there were others there, but they're talking about public safety. They talk about fighting crime. Little Italy gets $500,000. East Baltimore, West Baltimore, in the, in the hood, they just get more federal law. Crime-fighting strategy. They call it a new crime-fighting strategy. Public safety, they claim, is a basic right and shouldn't be too much to ask for. This is what U.S. Attorney Barron said, Eric Barron. But of course, they ain't got, they ain't got no money for East Baltimore to help with this. They ain't got money for West Baltimore to help with this. What, what they're going to do is lay out a strategy so they can lock up more people. Maybe they're guilty. Maybe they're not. But they're just going to start locking up more people. That's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. Will says, helping themselves at our expense because we vote for them regardless if they do something or not. Oh, Will, you are right on the money. They, they, they play on our, you know, the, the, the urge that we have to vote. The pressure that folks feel to vote, to participate in the system. I encourage people to participate in the system. But, but what I don't encourage, what I don't encourage is letting these folks get away with stuff. Vote for somebody. And if they don't do what they say, don't vote for them again. Vote for somebody else. I am tired of the same old people, right? I'm tired of the same old people. And this is statewide, citywide, nationwide. We don't need to have no... 80 uh, mid 80s president right <laughs> that's republican that's democrat that's independent anybody nobody in their 80s should be running this country i said it many times we wouldn't let somebody in their 80s handle the family reunion we would say yo grandma granddad sit back we'll take care of this right because they, they they they're older they should just be chilling enjoying their family time joe biden needs to needs to retire go off delaware wherever uh, the Biden family wants to go, and he needs to be gone. He needs to be gone. Uh, but I have digressed. With visual, visual, vocal, and bipartisan support, the federal prosecutor unveiled three key components of the initiative that he said are all actions his office has never done before. Oh, they've locked folks up before. I don't know what's different about this. But uh, there's a new violent and organized crime section with 30 new state-funded positions, including prosecutors, investigators, and analysts that will be up and running by October. So you see, in East Baltimore, in West Baltimore, in my hood and in your hood, what they're going to do to try to fight crime is... They are going to bring more prosecutors, more investigators, more analysts, so they can lock folks up. You do understand. You do see where this is going, right? Barron said that the U.S. Attorney's Office for Maryland will start using what they call the Al Capone model of prosecution. The Al Capone model, right? That's when Elliot Ness and his... Uh, a band of uh, of agents came and uh, they put cases together, right? In, in the words of Denzel, putting cases on all you you know how it goes. Is that they're going to take violent people off the streets by any appropriate legal means necessary? Or are they going after your taxes? I don't think that Joe Public cares how we get violent criminal off our streets. They just want them off. I want y'all to I want y'all to think about what he's saying. Listen to this. I 
Don't think Joe Public, that means anybody in the public, the average citizen, cares how we get violent criminals off the streets. He's saying, y'all don't care how we get them, but we're going to get them. If they got to bend some rules, they may do that. Things are going to get crazy. And they're not talking about investing in Baltimore City. They're not talking about investing in East Baltimore and West Baltimore. They're talking about more folks to lock you up and they're going to start using tricks because they say that you don't care how we lock these people up. He says that his office is prioritizing pursuing fraud cases. Okay. Any and all wrongdoing that our office prioritizes, including pandemic fraud, for instance, unemployment insurance fraud, you might not believe it, but what we found is that with half of our targets, they are all involved in such fraud. Oh, yeah. They get ready to start going after y'all. There's a lot of y'all out there. There's a lot of y'all out there, and they are not done yet. Not done yet. 500K while North Avenue looks like Beirut, Fields 1 says. It does. It does. Looks crazy on North Avenue. Looking crazy. Will says that participate if we're getting tangibles because we need it to better our community, the communities of Baltimore. Absolutely. Absolutely. Will says all other groups do it except U.S. They vote if they get something to help their communities. I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, if if I, I thought the Rico was the Al Capone model. No, the Rico is not the Al Capone model. That That's more of um, the, the Al Capone model. They got Al Capone on tax evasion, right? So they found some other, some other backdoor because they couldn't really get him. He didn't really have his hands on, on stuff, right? And, and he was able to avoid it. Their witnesses went out the window, went missing, went gone. And get somebody turn state's evidence, and then you know, we don't have any uh we, we don't have anything on them now. They gotta let them go. Uh so the Al Capone model is uh the Treasury, the Treasury Department, Elliot Ness and the Treasury Department. They were going after his taxes, which is how they got him on tax evasion. So what they're gonna do now is try other, they're gonna find violent criminals and try to get him on some other loophole. And uh, according to uh Barron, he's saying that most of these violent criminals also participate in fraud and they can get them on something else, something like fraud, something else. Crazy, crazy. 